Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am in my kitchen. I'm actually down sitting on the floor in my kitchen and I'm here to do another declutter session with you. So hopefully you're getting ready to start on a little task that you have to do or maybe take this 15 minutes to do some uh, pampering or relaxing. So I'm working on day 17 of Sophia's challenge. There it is. So that is, hopefully you could see that, um, that is bakeware, decor, and shelves. Make sure I'm reading that right. Yep. Okay. So what I thought I would tackle is this lovely little corner cabinet here in my kitchen. Um, it's one of the bigger cabinets and because it has a Lazy Susan in it, I can do quite a bit of storage. So let me see. We'll get the timer going. I have... 14 minutes on the timer, so hopefully that'll give us plenty of time. And I'd like to even potentially work on another cabinet if time allows, so we shall see. All right, so I guess we'll start on top. So I have our toaster here, that's fine. Uh, can you see all right? This is a nine by 13 glass baking dish, I think a seven by 11 glass baking dish and then a small corning ware dish with the lid which I all of those things I don't use that often but they're good staples to have in the kitchen I do use them occasionally so I'm fine keeping those and then I have two smaller round corning ware dishes again they're just good staples they're good sizes for our smaller family and I like keeping them here in the kitchen so they're staying this little precarious stack right here um, is not working, but I don't know where else to put things. So let's start with a little decluttering if need be. This lid goes to this pan, so that's staying for now. This is a splatter screen, and I always think that I need one, so I pick them up. So I've had this, this is my most recent one that I've had for a little bit. I like that it's silicone. I like having them for the very rare times when I think I'm going to cook something on the stovetop that splatters, like bacon or hamburgers in a cast iron skillet, that kind of thing. Um, the problem is I cook those things so rarely and rarely, and uh, often I end up trying to do them in the oven, so then I don't really need this. Um, so I think I'm going to let that go. So that is gonna go all right then I have a an angel food I think that's what that's called or no bunt bunt pan um, let me think about this this one I can't remember the last time I used it's a nice one it's the heavy um, I think this is called anodized aluminum maybe um, but I can't remember the last time I've used it if I've ever used it so I think I might be ready to let that go too. All right, this one is, I think these are called angel food pans. I'm not 100% sure. It has a solid bottom and, oh, pound cake and angel food. Look at that, it tells me on the bottom, yay. <laughs> All right, this one I do use, this is what I make my sour cream coffee cake in and it's a hit and we use it fairly often. Like I'll make it for Christmas probably. Um, I don't know, maybe once every couple months I make it, and I'm fine keeping that. And I think, especially since I have this now and I know I use this, I can let the bunt pan go because if I really need to make something like, you know, that monkey bread where it's the pull apart little cinnamon sugar pieces of bread, I could do it in here. So I'm going to keep that. And basically, then, can you see the rest of this? I know it's dark, is. Um, a cast iron skillet and one of my larger, actually it's the largest non-stick uh, skillet that I have and that's fine because that's a bigger capacity, it has the taller side so I can do things like jambalaya and stuff like that in there. Okay, so that can all go back. I do think I need, uh, let's see, I'm going to grab a paper towel so hold on it. Get this and try that in there because the bottom gets a little greasy. I'm also going to see if it can give us a little more light. I don't know. Does that help at all? 
we shall see. Okay, so now I can put this back in here, this lid. And again, this does not, hmm. All right, I'm gonna think about that because, sorry, I'm kind of close. That's the problem. This lid doesn't stay on top of that pan, but I don't really have a good spot to store this yet. So for now, let's see. And of course, when you spin it, then it does go. That's a little bit better, actually. Okay. All right, moving along. Here we go. Now, down here, so salad spinner. Yep, I still use that. Colander. Yes, I still use that. And then this is, uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's a glass or like a Corningware baking dish. It's not Corningware brand, but I still use that. So I'm going to, I guess that helps if I pull it out a little bit like that. All right. Then, all right. Then I have my mandolin. And it's been a long time since I've used it. I think I'm ready to let that go. It does work really well. It's an OXO or OXO brand. I don't know how you say it. I always say OXO. Um, so it's sharp. It works well. It's got the handle thing so you can hold on to the food you're slicing. But in the end, I think I just use a knife a lot of times because it's a lot easier to clean a knife than it is to clean this thing and all of its parts and pieces. So I think I am going to let that go. That's going to set up there as well. Okay. Then I have... This is like a chip and dip thing. Um, we got it as a wedding gift. And I don't use it that often, but I do use it, so I think I'm okay keeping it. I don't know. I don't love it, but it's kind of nice that it's a smaller size and it fits in here with my other round pans. And I don't really want to get a bigger one because then you have to store a bigger one. So I think I'm keeping it because it functions well for what I need it to do. So that is fine. Um, what else? All right. Pie pan. Yes, that's fine. Seen better days, but it's still good for me. All right. So I have a bunch of round cake pans. And these are the kind of things. Look at this. I have three smaller, which I guess those are an 8 inch and three 9 inch. And these are the kinds of things that I use once a year for my daughter's birthday cake or <laughs> something along those lines. I hardly ever just make a cake to make a cake. Um, so I'm debating about what to let go of and if I do let go of. I think what I'm going to do is keep two of each size because that seems a little more reasonable. I'm going to get rid of the two without a handle, and, ah, wait a minute, so actually these two are in better shape and are the same, and then I have this one with a handle and this one that is smaller. Okay, so if I keep those two, then I'll have two large, two small. The two small ones have handles, the two large ones don't, but this one has definitely seen better days, so I think I can let that go. And the only thing I'm thinking is, you know, this is the kind of stuff that I don't know if anybody else is going to be able to use it because it is in such rough shape, and so then what do I do with it? almost like it becomes relegated to the tool shed <laughs> to catch something or collect something or I don't know but in the end I don't need it in the kitchen so it's going out okay so that's that and then I have a three set of springform pans and I again very rarely use these uh, actually these might be my husband's perhaps I don't remember if they're his or mine. They're, you know, things like cheesecake is what they're really for. And how often do I make cheesecake? Not that often. All right. I tell you what, these I'm going to ask my husband about. If he thinks we need to keep them, because he likes cheesecake, and every once in a while we talk about making cheesecake. 
but we very seldom actually make cheesecake. So if he thinks we need to keep them, or if they were his to begin with, and he doesn't want to get rid of them, then that's fine. We'll keep them. Um, they, see, they, I wish that they stacked a little bit better there. Can you see? They're just kind of wonky, but all right. So this can go there. I wonder if I can now store this down here. It's just that pie pan is making it tricky. And actually, it just doesn't work because of those smaller cake pans. So that's why I had it up there. Okay. All right, now we're getting into some other stuff. I got these as a gift from my mom. They're great, they do work. I just forget to use them. So thank you, mom, I appreciate the gift and I'm gonna pass them on to someone else. And this goes to the glass, does this go to that? No, oh, it's under here, okay. So this is, oops, this is another area where, I have lids for things, and the lids don't all stack well, but I like keeping them in here. So for now, that's staying. All right, this pan makes cute little loaves, and I used to make pumpkin bread a lot for the holidays, and that's what I use these for. I haven't done that in a while, but sometimes, actually this year, I was kind of thinking that since I haven't done it in a while, it might be good to do. So I think I'm gonna hang on to this. That's just a good pan to keep for that reason. Glass uh, square baking dish. This works fairly well for, I'm trying to think of what we've used this for recently. I wanna say we made brownies in it, so that's fine. It's nice having that smaller square size uh, that's glass, but you know, you could also do like potatoes or gratin or some kind of casserole in it. Um, and since we're just a family of three, I do like having some smaller, hang on, having a little avalanche here. Um, I like having smaller containers like that. Okay, square one, again, this works good for brownies. This is a nine inch and this is an eight inch. So that's fine, keeping that. And then I have, can you see? So I have one, all right. What do I have here? I have one nine by 13. This is a set that's a broiler pan set that I remember thinking, oh, this is exactly what I was looking for and I needed it for that one time when I did something. I haven't used it yet, obviously. It's still in the packaging. Um, I think I thought I liked it because it could be separated and you can use the bottom pan for roasting or baking and the bottom pan is 17 by 11 so it's a little bit larger um, okay I'm gonna keep it for now and maybe next time around when I'm in zone I think zone 2 is the kitchen anyway if I'm decluttering again and I come across it and I still haven't used it then that means it's time to get rid of it right now I'm okay hanging on to it so and then these oh look at that I even have that little packaging that went with those sunflower things okay so I'm going to keep that for now and we shall see now let's see if I can get it all to fit better than it was I think I just had them stacked wrong now these, sorry guys, these do not fit well, but they fit better in there. Okay. All right, so that's a bit better stack. And then the only other things that are in here are my coffee grinder that I occasionally use. Our coffee maker has a grinder in it, but it's really loud. It sounds like a jet engine taking off. I don't know if you have one like that. So, um... Sometimes I use this one because it's a little bit quieter and it's more portable. So like I'll take this little one off into the opposite side of the house from where <laughs> our bedrooms are in case my daughter's still sleeping. Anyway, um, I have a thermos which does not need to be kept in there. I didn't realize that was in there. Uh-oh, there's my timer. Ah, okay. 
it's actually only the box for the thermos. So, let's see. And I have, okay. all right, so, oh, and my knife sharpener. So why did I keep the box? I think I kept the box because it has washing instructions or something on it. But I think I can let, oh yeah, here's the washing instructions. So I don't need a whole box for, and is this even before each use, hot liquids, use, maintenance. Okay, I'll put that on, in the cabinet where the actual item is. This can be recycled. This is my knife sharpener, and I also have a set of eight steak knives that match our set um, that we got as a wedding gift, our flatware set, and we only use the eight that we have on the counter, um, but I got the second set of eight, and I guess I'm keeping them because I think, well, at some point mine might be needing to be replaced or, you know, getting dull or whatever. Or in the off chance that I'm making steak dinners for 12 people. I don't know. <laughs> so perhaps I need to think about letting those go. But they were a wedding gift. And they're not really in my way. They're just kind of tucked back in this cabinet. So I'll talk to my husband about that. He's better about letting go than I am. So we'll see. Maybe he'll and say, uh, yeah, why are we keeping these? <laughs> they're brand new. They're still in the box. So I don't know. All right, um, I think that's it. I'm going to leave it there because my timer went off. So what did I get rid of? I have, oh boy, this. I have my mandolin. I have these two pans here. Well, three, actually three pans. So three baking pans. Set that guy in there. And my splatter screen. <laughs> Oh my goodness okay that's it guys look at that that was so much I I mean it's not it's not enough but it's a lot out of that cabinet and it will make things easier in there and I feel good that I actually went through there I haven't really looked in that cabinet to see what I needed to keep and what I didn't uh, probably ever since we moved in six years ago so all right thanks again Sophia for this great challenge Sophia my great challenge has um, put up this uh, challenge for 30 decluttering 30 bags in 30 days and as you know I'm working through it one day at a time one challenge at a time but it's taking me way longer than 30 days and I'm okay with that I'm not giving up I'm hoping to be done by Christmas so stay tuned and I will hopefully have another decluttering video up shortly and in the meantime thank you have a great day and I will see you next time bye bye Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button below. And if you want, you can turn on that notification bell and you'll be notified when that next video comes up. All right. Thanks again. Bye-bye.